This video is going to focus on properties for the rectangle, rhombus, and square. And the first type of problem, this is something that we've seen all year, where we're going to tell you one piece of information, that's the piece of information you can use, the properties you can use to solve the problem, and then we will ask you if it also meets the requirements of another situation. In this case, I'm telling you that this figure is a rectangle. All we know for sure is that it is a rectangle, so all we can use are the properties of a rectangle. We're going to use that to solve for x. Once I know what the value of x is, I'm going to use that to decide if it's also a square. All right, so to start, let's talk about the properties of a rectangle. Because it's a rectangle, I know that opposite sides are congruent. Those two sides are congruent. That doesn't help me. These two sides are congruent that doesn't help me. But keep in mind, because all I know for a fact is that it's a rectangle, these sides are not congruent in a rectangle. So I cannot assume these two are congruent. I cannot set them equal. The other major property that I can use for a rectangle here is that all four of my vertices, all of these angles, are 90 degrees. So I now know that 36x is equal to 90. Using this equation we get x to be equal to 2.5. Now that I know that x is equal to 2.5 I can use that value and substitute it in to these two expressions to find my side lengths. I can find that 8 times 2.5 plus 6 is equal to 26 and that 6 times 2.5 plus 11 is also equal to 26. So now that I know that TR is 26 and that RE is 26, now and only now can I assume that yes, Trek is a square. And we know that because it is a rectangle that would that was given to us with four congruent sides that we calculated because we knew x was 2.5. In our second problem in this video we're going to talk about the rhombus. I'm telling you that this is a rhombus so we know a number of things. We know all four sides are equal. We know the diagonals bisect each other. These segments are congruent. These segments are congruent. We know opposite angles are congruent. These are parallelogram properties. We do know that the diagonals bisect our opposite angles. But most importantly here, we know that our diagonals are perpendicular, which means all four of these angles are 90 degrees. So the first thing I can do is I can find what the value of y is because I know that 8y minus 6 is equal to 90 degrees. Could I have started with something else? Absolutely. I know that all four sides are congruent, therefore I know that 15x plus 1 is equal to 7x plus 9. Had I started there, I could have solved for x, I would have found that x was equal to 1, substitute into here, or here to get side lengths of 16, and set this equal to 16. All four of these are congruent, I could have found y that way. Had I not had this, I have to use this and set it equal to 90 to get my answer for y. And in doing that, we get that y is equal to 12. Now if I had set this equal to 16, I would have also got y equals 12. So there's two ways that I could have found y in that case. 